Hello everyone, this is Abdul Rashid and today we are going to discuss some important concepts of physics from 10th class. As you see here, these are the ray diagrams of concave mirror from the chapter Reflection of Light from Curved Surfaces, that is first chapter of 10th class. Dear students, let me tell you one thing, these ray diagrams are very important in first chapter and compulsory you will get a 4 mark question from this. So let's begin with the first diagram. Dear students, in this video we will see how images are formed in concave mirror with the help of ray diagrams and we will see all the possible situations, I mean all the possible places where we can place the object in front of the concave mirror. So here we go with the first position that is object is at infinity. I mean object is kept at infinite distance from the concave mirror. And one thing to keep in mind that this concave mirror is bulging inward mean this bulging outward surface is coated and this bulging inward surface is kept for the reflection so that light reflects from the bulging in surface. Now let's try to understand the ray diagram. In this case the object is kept at infinite distance from this concave mirror. So when an object is kept at infinite distance it always emits the parallel light rays. So <clears throat> these are the parallel light rays nothing but the light rays which are parallel to each other and they are parallel to the principal axis itself. Now <clears throat> these are the parallel light rays which are traveling towards the concave mirror. When they reach the concave mirror, when they strike to the concave mirror, they reflect back and all the light rays are focused onto a single point. All the light rays are meeting at a single point. That single point is called focus or focal point. So the image is formed at focal point or focus. So <clears throat> here are the characteristics of the image. So image formed is first of all inverted, inverted nothing but upside down. Next it is real, real nothing but we can <clears throat> fix a photographic plate over here and we can save the image. The third is point size. So as the image is formed at point, it is of point size mean even more smaller and the last one is the image is formed at focal point as just now we have discussed. So one thing to remember here that when the light rays are parallel after the reflection they meet at focus. So when the object is kept at infinity the light rays are parallel and the image is formed at focus. This is the only point to remember in this ray diagram. The next possible position of the object is object is beyond C mean the object is kept beyond center of curvature. Students I hope all of you know the terminologies associated with this concave mirror that is pole, focal point, center of curvature, principal axis and all. <clears throat> now in this ray diagram we will consider two simple light rays. The first light ray which is traveling parallel to the principal axis and the next light ray which is traveling towards the focus. So we will see their reflection. The light ray which is traveling parallel to the principal axis, it passes through focal point and the light ray which is traveling towards focal point, it becomes parallel. Mean there is a similarity between those two light rays. The parallel light ray passes through focus and the light ray which is passing through focus becomes parallel. So after the reflection, the light rays meets at this point. So the image is formed at that point. In this case, the object is kept beyond center of curvature, beyond C, but the image is formed in between F and C. Now, we will see the characteristics of image formed. Image formed is, first of all, inverted, it is upside down. Inverted nothing but upside down. The second is real. Real images are always storable. Nothing but if we fix a photographic plate over here or if we fix a screen we can save the image we can store the image the next is 
diminished the image is diminished nothing but the image is smaller than the object the last is the position of the image it is in between f and c dear students let me tell you one thing that real images are always inverted no real image is erect so in this ray diagram you need to remember only few things that when the object is kept beyond c the image is formed in between f and c and it is real and diminished of course real images are inverted now in the third position the object is kept in between f and c that is focal point and center of curvature so in this case to observe the image formation we will consider the same two light rays the first which is emitting from the object and traveling parallel to the principal axis and the next is <coughs> emitting from the object and traveling towards the focal point these two light rays strikes the mirror and reflects the first light ray reflects and passes through the focal point the next light ray which is passing through the focal point after the reflection becomes parallel and this is the point where two reflected light rays meets so this is the point where image forms dear students in this ray diagram the incident light rays are shown with the blue color and reflected light rays are shown with the red color so this point is the point where two reflected light rays meet and at this point only the image is formed so as you see here when the object is kept in between f and c the image is formed beyond c as you have seen in the previous case that when the object is kept beyond c the image is formed in between f and c so these two are the reverse cases of each other now let's have a look at the characteristics of the image formed now the image formed is inverted and real as you can see in the ray diagram the image is inverted and of course it is real if you keep a screen over here you can store the image and of course it is enlarged bigger than the object or bigger in size than the object and of course it is formed beyond center of curvature so <coughs> these are the four necessary things to be written in the exam now the next possible position is on focal point so in the fourth case we are going to discuss object is at f as you see the object is kept on the focal point and the blue light rays indicates the incident light rays these light rays are reaching to the concave mirror they reflect back and they travel parallel to each other and parallel to principal axis also so the reflected light rays travels up to infinity so the image is formed at infinity so as the image is forming at infinity we cannot define the characteristics of the image so <clears throat> here we go with the theory the image is formed at infinity and characteristics of the image cannot be discussed so in this ray diagram you need to remember only one thing that the object is kept at focal point and the image is formed at infinity this is the reverse case of first case just now we have discussed c in this case the object itself is kept at infinity and the image is formed at focal point now in the fifth position the object is kept at center of curvature c object is at c so this is the focal point and this is center of curvature now to observe the image formation we can have a look at the two simple light rays so these are the two incident light rays which are traveling towards the mirror the first light ray which is parallel to the principal axis travels towards the mirror reflects back and passes through focal point 
the next light ray travels towards the focal point reaches to the mirror reflects back and becomes parallel to the principal axis and this is the point where two reflected light rays meet so this is the point where image is formed so fortunately the object is kept at center of curvature and the image is also formed at center of curvature now let's have a look at the <coughs> characteristics of the image so image formed is first of all inverted and real of course as you see in the diagram the image is inverted and it is real mean we can store it we can save it next the image is of same size as the object and of course it is formed at center of curvature c dear students this is the last possible position where we can place the object in front of a concave mirror that is in between pole and focal point in this case the image formation is little bit different to understand the image formation in this case we are taking two simple light rays the first one is traveling parallel to the principal axis after striking to the mirror it reflects back and passes through the focal point the next light ray travels towards the mirror in such a way that if it reflects it must pass through the center of curvature yani ke second light ray mirror par is tarah pahunchti hai ki agar wo reflect ho tab wo center of curvature se guzre so these two light rays which are indicated with red color travels <coughs> and uh, there is no chance of meeting with each other so on this side there is no possibility for image formation so in this case we can extend these two light rays <coughs> so we are extending these two light rays so the image is formed inside the mirror if you see the image is enlarged and it is erect so let's have a look at the characteristics of the image formed now the image formed is inside the mirror of course the images which are formed inside the mirror are always virtual and of course virtual images are always erect and of course it is enlarged dear students This is the end of all the ray diagrams. If you like this video, you can comment below in the comment section.